ID theft, robocalls, ransomware. Cybercrime is big business for criminals and costly for consumers. With numbers on the rise since 2015, Americans were conned out of $3.5 billion last year, according to the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center. Despite this historic pandemic, nothing and no one is off limits. Predators target the elderly, hold personal private data hostage, and leverage tragedy, all in the hopes of separating you from your cash. Tonight, we'll show you you're not alone. As public agencies look to educate, tech companies work to innovate, and private citizens try to protect themselves against cyber threats. This is Chronicle on WCBB Channel 5. Classic, this was when Havlicek stole the ball. Mark Fieri loves the Celtics. These are my favorite players. He moved from Connecticut to Watertown in 1963 with his wife Barbara for work. We had our first child here and a second child here and obviously a third child here. Now retired, the only thing he likes to talk about more than the Celtics are his seven grandchildren, including grandson John Jr. On a scale of one to 10, he's over 10. He got a ROTC scholarship to Rutgers. He couldn't be a, a nicer grandson. Fieri and his wife would do anything for their grandson, which is why they were anxious to help when they received a call in January 2019. From someone she said sounded exactly like our grandson John. And he said, Grandma, I'm in trouble. And this lawyer came on the phone and said that uh, everything would be taken care of. Uh, John had nothing to worry about, but he needed money. So I got on the phone and I said, where's your practice? And he said, Ashland. And that made sense because that's where our grandson John lived. Fieri was instructed to go to Home Depot to purchase gift cards that could be used as cash to bail out his grandson. I purchased $9,000 worth of gift cards called him. He said, you'll get your money back right away. So I said, well, you don't even know where I live. He said, no, we'll find out. So I called my grandson, John. I said, John, what's up with your lawyer? And he said, what lawyer? So right away, I knew we had been scammed. Unfortunately, Fieri isn't alone. Confidence fraud cost citizens in the Commonwealth in 2019 over $17 million. Massachusetts Attorney General Mara Healy. They're really, really sophisticated. The way they have access to information, remember, you know, a lot of stuff's available on Facebook. Your friends and family and grandkids, all there on display. And what the scammers do is they'll do a little research. How big are these problems currently in Massachusetts? Big. There are problems in Massachusetts. There are problems around the country, around the world. What's good, though, and what I want people to know is that my office, the Attorney General's office, is a place to call for help. Mark Fieri made that call after a chance encounter with a former Attorney General. I was working out in Watertown one day. I saw Tom Riley, and I told him of my dilemma. And he said, have you called the Attorney General's office? I said, no. So he placed a call to Maura Healy's office on my behalf. The Attorney General's office responded quickly to help facilitate an unexpected but welcome happy ending. About two weeks later, I got a letter from uh, Home Depot saying everything was resolved. Still, resolutions like this one are the exception. Once you wire the money, it's very hard for us to be able to go and chase it down. Now, we've had some success, but that's why I really tell folks to really try to do everything they can to protect themselves mm -hmm. against getting scammed in the first place. For the Attorney General's office, prevention starts with education in panels like this one, held before the pandemic at Cambridge Senior Center in collaboration with the City of Cambridge Consumers Council and Cambridge Police. When people call looking for your information or oh, social security number, just hang up. For Fieri, he's reading up on what to look out for in this new book by real-life scammer-turned-good guy, Frank Abagnale, whose exploits were featured in the 2002 film, Catch Me If You Can. Scam me once, shame on you. Scam me twice, shame on me. Forget about it. And Mark Fieri says his unfortunate brush with a scammer. Since that time, he's received several other scam calls. But his newfound skepticism has helped keep his money safe. 
Attorney General Healy's office has suspended those live group education sessions during the pandemic, but the AG's helpline is still active and the office provides multiple online resources to guard against scams. Up next, training cyber sleuths.